Hi friends, welcome to this video. Myself Arunas Kumar, I work with Canmark Software Private Limited. In this video, uh, we are going to see the assembly variant option in Kata VP assembly design. So, how we can create assembly variants by these options. So, we have the tool called assembly variants. So, three tools are there define variant, generic product, incident the variant, and replace variant. These are the three options available in the assembly variant toolbar. So this is a sample assembly so you can see that on tire is there this is a tire assembly this is a tire and rim is there this is a rim one so we have additional two rims also so i'm just uh, showing the other ones also so this is a rim two and rim three so it will be difficult to identify between our two things we can hide the first and second so this is the third rim three and if you want to see the rim one let me show it this is a rim one and rim two this is a rim 2. So these are three different options available here. So how we can create variants from this thing. So I'm just turning all the three rims on. I'm just showing it all three. So now it is really difficult to see the thing. So what we can do is we can create variants. So go here now define assembly variant. Here we can cre create multiple variants. Here you can go to the new option. Like that you can create one, two, three variants and created so what we can do is first variant first variant i am turning the tire on and rim one is also checked and other two things i am unchecking the second variant i am turning it off the one and three for the third variant i am turning it off first and second and third one is on like this we can create different variants so if you want to give some name you can give the names here like that design one design two design three something like that so if you want to give some comments you can give some comments also so that is a will be a identification for the design so here actually we can give some with the uh, now here we are having seven spokes so we can give us seven spokes so this thing actually is kind of a grid kind of thing so we can give a grid design so third one actually we here we have nine spokes we can uh, name it as nine spokes like this we can give names also so give okay so whenever you want to display or you want to showcase to some presentation or something like that you can go here and just switch between the variants you can easily show it to the team so then we can finalize your designs so this can be used in your presentation so group review meetings or something like that you can use it okay, okay. so like this we can so we can save it also this will get saved to this particular assembly so this variance will get saved to this assembly and save it and close so after some point of time if you want to insert one of this configuration or one of the variant to a new assembly we can always uh, import it so how we can do it you can go here and generate the variants so what you can do is you can go to second option then select the generic product you can go here select select the wheel assembly this is our generic product and automatically all the variants will get listed here it will come with all the comments so you can just select which one you want i am going to the design one okay so that will get added into your assembly so if you are in the main assembly you can always uh, call this sub assemblies with the a variant different variant which variant you want you can just call and add into your main assembly suppose you want to replace it that is also possible if you want to replace this variant you can go with the third option replace variant click here so again you need to select this uh, generic assembly then i am going with the third design or um, just second design okay so that will get replaced so in the main assembly that uh, will get replaced with the second design like this we can create a variant save it and you can whenever you want you can initiate that variance this is how the variant option works in cat assembly thank you for watching this video have a nice day